So our project is a piano sight reading assistant. We have a keyboard that is connected to um, a couple microcontrollers that displays uh, music on the video here. And uh, the, vid the piano music will automatically um, update and play in the tempo that you're supposed to be playing it. And every note that you get correct gives you a score of plus 10 points. Okay. And uh, tell me about the keyboard. Okay. The keyboard has uh, up to 14 keys, so we can play two octaves on it. Uh, the keyboard, uh, we built our own keyboard. The keys are charged um, to about 5 volts, and to play, we'll have to wear our gloves, uh, which when uh, play on the key, uh, the microcontroller would detect a change uh, in the uh, input. We would know what uh, keys are pressed. We also use two, uh, two parallel in serial alt shift registers to uh, make the interface between the keyboard and um, the microcontroller simpler. So now we only need one, two, uh, two, serial, uh, two serial lines, one for each shift register uh, to go into the microcontroller to sample. And uh, as you can see, we have two microcontrollers. Uh, one is responsible for the video generation, the other is responsible for sound generation. Okay. The key uh, key intake, we used uh, UART serial communication to communicate between the two microcontrollers. And can you play five notes at a time then, since you have five finger glovers at one note at a time? Or? Um, one note at a time. The keyboard supports multiple presses, but the sound generation and the video game only support one right now. Okay, tell me about the sound generation. So we do the sound generation on that microcontroller right there. We basically use a carpal strong um, algorithm or unit, which um, will read a, an array that is updated by the shift registers. We'll read that array. We'll and simulates a, it. simulates a string. Right, exactly. Okay. All right, so play me, a, a, turn up the volume here so it's nice and loud for the video. And then play me a couple of notes. So our demo song is uh, the uh, alma mater, actually. <laughs> So yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's really hard to um, kind of play it without some kind of ticking feedback because right now it just kind of shows you the beats on the screen. So I think that'd be a quick kind of to have a metronome would be really helpful. But it was oh. something that we didn't implement. Okay, but you could. So, yeah. But yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you, you had enough cycles to do it. All right. So you want to be uh, so you're using the the one finger thing then yes. because because the glove is a little fragile. Why don't you put on the glove and let's try it. Okay, why would you... You, you want me to try it? Yes, sure. yes, please. It's a left-handed glove. Right. Yes. Are you left-handed? I am, but okay, uh, pianists normally use mostly their right hand when just yeah. playing with one hand, so either way, it's fine. Okay. Oops. So, sometimes the copper tape breaks, which is why it's fragile. Mm -hmm. It has a, it has kind of a, a kind of a steampunk look to it. Yeah. It's kind of, of claw-like. So, oh. So right now, it actually works for all five fingers, which okay. is nice. So if I wanted to play the same thing. So that's just half the alma mater again, which wasn't playing with the music thing, but mm -hmm. that's what it would do. So. Okay. My personal record is about 80% correct on there, so it works pretty well. <laughs> All right, so it sounds good. It sounds like the synthesis worked well. Yes, it did. Um, should I talk more about that? Uh, sure. Um, okay, go ahead. I have some <laughs> comment to add, but I will. <laughs> so um, we basically, basically, uh, how the algorithm works is you you have a circular buffer of a certain length, you put noise in it, and then you shift that out, play whatever shifts out, you do some digi uh, digital signal processing on the, sh uh, the output, and you feed it back in. And, and, the, and the recirculation represents a, a string, a traveling wave along the string. Right, of the mm -hmm. length, um, and by setting the 
string of length and an additional parameter, we can set uh, the frequency of the tone. Okay. All right. Um, what I was going to say is there are certain improvements we can add to the, uh, to the uh, set. So, uh, as you probably heard, when we played certain keys, uh, some of the sounds were duplicated. Uh, when we did testing, we realized if we used um, uh, something like uh, just like a straight edge, uh, the sound wouldn't be duplicated. So uh, we think it's probably because like the surface of the key and plus the surface of the glove, there are uh, it's 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 not flat. Right. So you're getting so as you as you like, touch, like you're getting multiple yes. Yeah. Okay. So it's more than like basic debouncing. We'd have to do something right. a little bit more intricate. Yeah. So if I were to um, let's see, is if I if I where's the little piece <laughs> with one on it? Right here. So if I hold this in my hand, can I press the key now? No. No, it, it only works if you You'll have to lick your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't be pretty. <laughs> Nor sanitary. Okay. All right.